Welcome back to Computer Games and it's time for some RTA action. Now, before we start, if you haven't liked and subscribed to our channel, please do if you haven't already. Now, today we are checking out Shizuka. You know, totally watching the replays here, the best replays in the RTA server. And I've noticed a lot of G3 players are basically picking Shizuka first, right? And watching how these Guardian 3 players try to counter the Shizuka, right? Of course, they'll automatically be trying to CC her, right? CC her, go straight for her damage, or at the same time, reset her. But the thing is, like for example, look at this guy. Man, the Dark Battle Angel. There goes the Shizuka. Everybody's into oblivion. And then at the same time, she puts all the buffs throughout the entire fight to her teammates. And then once again, wow, look at that damage. Here we got that apple and we got Tutida. Right? Again, first pick is the Shizuka and how do they counter it generally with some burst damage okay he brought in a heavy HP team with the Mo Long Diana and that's the fire M Bison also known as the Carnal right but the thing here is he's got a lot of good violent procs of course but also at the same time she has that Praha with the heals He's got the, uh, what do you call this, the Masha with the defense break and the damage. Specifically for the Carnal. Right? But it's actually a very close fight, especially because there's a Molly there that pretty much allows glancing onto a lot of her opponents. And then you got here a 3 versus 2. Again, heals coming from the Praha. Again, Praha and Masha are really good, but they quit already because you still have that Shizuka in there. Next battle is from Miao Hia and Jin Yao. Again, first pick Shizuka. You got Jin Yao, what's up brother? Going for a Praha and a Masha. And then look at all those LDs though. GC on your LDs. Okay, Jin Yao starts to work on the Juno, but remember, there is a Nana there, right? And also at the same time, again, the Molly. So there goes Shizuka, the Nana with all those defense breaks. Good damage coming from the attack buffed Juno. And when that... Ooh, Praha. Is Praha going down? Yes, she is. See? Oh man. And again, you got Coco Melon this time around with a first pick Masha with a Ciara and a Gianna. Josephine, a good counter to the Gianna. And then you got Molly Ban and a Juno Ban. Let's see. He doesn't go for the stuns because then Josephine will be able to cut in between. But. Ooh, you do have the Light Monkey, who's going to take the turn, right, goes for Giant Net, stuns everyone and puts that Josephine to sleep, now the Gianna still has a turn, with the strips, oh but the Shizuka, oh man. Look at all those debuffs coming from this Shizuka though. Also with a counter and the shields. Oh man. Without the Praha, you got the Molly lift for the heals. More of the Shizuka. <laughs> One really overpowered RTA unit. But of course, the question today that I have for you is 
How do you counter this queen? The new RTA queen. Oh man. See? Even though there was a Praha right there. I mean, I guess with Flopper was the, the main problem was she kind of lacked damage. Especially because the main damage leader during the... Um, what do you call this? The early draft was banned. And then here, we got Chizuka paired up with Oliver and the Gianna and Nana and once again Karnal. We got the Gianna ban because that's going to help strip. But the thing to counter the Shizuka is to actually CC her, right? Or start decreasing her cooldowns or increasing her cooldowns or just like that. You see. Yeah, he had to CC the um, Chong Pong, right? But at the end of the day... Oh, that's a, that was a good balance block coming from the Miles. And once again, all things in nature, so much pain. <laughs> all those debuffs. <laughs> Sam B, S, E, P, P is like helping. Yeah, so much damage right really strong but with that nana there there was an additional level of sustain right and once again we're following doctor here it was generally doing once again a first pick oliver but this time playing around with his yon hong yon hong gets banned okay this time around Again, that's a Poseidon. Uh, sorry, Triton. Oh, but not so lucky this time. How did he do it? Well, you have that Chung Fung there. But at the same time, you also have the Sekhmet. Resisted there. But, yeah, that's a Despair. What are you? Oh man, is that a Neptis or a Sekhmet? <laughs> okay. And once again, this was really fun. Um, the El Mimo and Pinkroid. El Mimo with a first pick. Again. Okay. Shizuka with the Wusa Nana and that's a... Um, Ragdoll, right? But this team from Pinkroid is totally burst damage, right? I really like how he did just automatically sniping that Nana, right? Two turns, and then you still got that Bulwark. Goes for the defense breaks. Works on the Icares, who's the main healer of the team. But he still did have the Dominic. Ooh. Man, look at all those debuffs coming from the Shizuka here. But he got Dominic with all that damage. Pinkroid for the win. Time to do some of our own RTA. Let's see what the first pick here is going to be. Okay, we got a Gianna. When I see a Gianna, I'm thinking speed lead, right? In the form of Oliver and say this time around a Ciara. Because if you pick the water Ryu, it's going to be like, what? Not as productive. Why? Because I wanted to take out the bomb for that Gianna, right? And then when I see a Savannah, I'm thinking Masha, right? So we have the elemental advantage. And then, of course, Masha with the Praha. Really good. Let's see what he picks here. Goes for a Chow and a Belio. Hmm. Yeah, that Chow Abelio combination is a bit dangerous because Chow is gonna be, you know, that Chow is gonna provide a lot of defense lead, a water defense lead for the Abelio. Now I'm thinking we kind of need some form of immunity here. 
and at the same time no i wasn't gonna go for, not for khaki but yeah time for our own shizuka yeah this time this way around uh we can play around with the bombs you got a lot of debuffs coming from the carnal and uh of course the savannah right i'm going to ban either chow or abelio um but we do have heals from the praha so i'm gonna go yeah ban out the abelio so okay he bans out our oliver either we go hp resistance or speed let's go for speed all right looking good let's go g g g g g g unit g unit i'm actually hoping for yeah the gianna to go look at the attack bars she should go for the stuns here but i'm not sure if she's a bit Okay, kind of lagging, but yeah, I don't know why she didn't go for the stuns there, but I'll definitely get rid of this Gianna, start working on her. Okay, we're gonna go fast link, nice damage, and then we're going to strip all that. Okay, and then nice violent proc, we're gonna go put them to sleep. <laughs> Okay, how about all things in nature? Okay. Oh, what happened there? How many turns did that Savannah take? Was that three procs on the Savannah? I don't know. Um, but we're gonna. Okay, well, again, the Shizuka. Okay, this time around, we're not gonna pick Shizuka, but we're going to try to bait him in doing so so to be safe we're going to use oliver let's go bring in two strippers in the form of the water ryu and say again a Gianna. right because he's showing a wusa and that's a cracker with a revive so that's going to be a bit dangerous um i don't know at this point yeah he gang is really good against the Gianna. so we'll try to think of say banning that and then as we learned from the previous videos that we watched we want to reset and cc her right so we're going to bang the Heigang because the Gianna's gonna go for the strips and then hopefully you know we got the water ryu to reduce attack bars we got the gani to reset we got savannah to reduce attack bars as well and provide the defense breaks let's see i'm thinking we should get the first turn I mean, well, after the Leo. <laughs> okay, we need to remove beneficial effects at this point. Okay, nice. I'm thinking we should go reset the Kraka or the Wusa. The Wusa is going to provide a lot of immunity, but this Kraka is going to have the revive. Okay, I don't want to put too many debuffs because the Shizuka still has her skills up. And we weren't able to strip her. So let's just go soften up the Kraka. Yeah, this one doesn't exactly increase attack bars or strip, but then we'll need to speed up at this point, mainly because if she goes for the all things in nature, she's gonna slow everybody down. Right? So it was good. That she put all those buffs because now we're gonna go critical error and stun. Oh man, high resistance on that Shizuka though. Um, let's go one more time, gigantic roar. Okay. Okay, there goes Shizuka. Um, let's put a bomb on the Wusa. Yeah, we need one more turn though. Let's soften up the Wusa first. She still got immunity. I think the Wusa got immunity also, but we do still have the Praha that can go for the strips and the stuns. He's starting to work on our Savannah. I don't know, Wusa should go for the Wish of Immortality, but he didn't. 
Ooh. Okay, come on, can we strip that? Nice strip. Okay, we gotta kill this Kraka so she doesn't revive. Okay, finally, no more immunity on the Shizuka, but... Okay, yeah. We still had the Gani and the Savannah. So... Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go for another one. I mean, I'm expecting a lot of Shizukas, because again, Shizuka, Shizu, Shizuka, one of the mostly picked units in RGA nowadays. With Masha, of course, but again, we're going to play around with our speed leads in the form of our Oliver and the Water Ayu. And then once again, um, pick, say, a double strip. Even if, say, if they go for the Savannah. Okay, there goes the Chompong. Again, we'll play first turn because we have the speed advantage with the Water Ayu and the Oliver. So we're going for Gianna. And then I kind of don't want to go for Savannah this time because there's fire. So we're going for the Fire M Bison. And I don't know. If, say, he picks... Okay, wow. That's a Vanessa with a speed lead. Full fire. Again, we'll need someone to reset that Shizuka because we're going to let her through. Right? And I'm thinking of letting the Masa through or the Chongpong. Yeah, this one can be reset by the Chongpong and I need that because he's probably going to ban the Oliver, right? Because he's playing the Vanessa. So, I'm thinking we should go for the Chongpong. Yeah. Now, here comes Shizuka. I don't know. Who's he? He's probably going to work on who first? Either Gani or... The Gianna, right? Because Gianna is very dangerous to this comp that can stun all of them. We're going to soften up this Masha because Masha is very dangerous. Oh, the creatures attack bars. We're gonna reset this Shizuka off the bat, right? Because she doesn't, we don't want her doing all things in nature things. Okay. No stunts, but at least we got the slow debuff. Okay, who to work on? Of course the Masha, because the Masha is still the main threat. Um, I'm not gonna ventilate just yet, because we still have the Fire M Bison's S2. Okay, we're gonna reduce the attack bars of this segment. Mainly because she has that skill to up and ready. Now we dismount this Masha. Come on, Gani. Oh no. Oh, so much pain. Okay. Whoa. I'll need to ventilate the water I use because look at the attack bars. It's a bit dangerous for our Fire and Bison. Oh no. Okay, let's go one more time. It does attack bars. Okay, I'm going to snipe the segment first. So that we can kill this Masha who's doing a lot of damage. Okay, now we kill the Masha. Okay, nice Valent proc. She's going to seal magic and CC once again. So she can't revive or do anything. All those old things in nature things. And then start working. On this Shizuka. Oh man. Okay, Ventrate once again. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Three versus two. They don't have heals. We still have our Kani and of course the Water Ayu. They don't have multi hits except for the segment, but yeah, looking good. So, generally, if you're gonna go face a Shizuka, make sure you're able to CC her, control her. You know, bring in some skill resetters, some strippers, 
or even some burst damage units as what we saw from the example of the replay of Pinkroid. So thank you to these OPRTA players. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more content. Have a great week ahead. May the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one.